Hi guys, as we have discussed in the previous class how to create an object, how to launch it and how to write username and password and clicks. So we have seen how to spy an element as well. Today we are going to see a little more in detail. As we have seen we have used an static time weight out. So in blue prism we, we have another time weight out that is called throttle time weight out or known as dynamic time weight out. How does this work? Let's suppose when I'm opening my application and if it is taking more than 50 seconds to load today, in few days it is loading in 10 to 20 seconds. So I cannot give a static time without saying that I have to wait my launch space to wait till 50, 60 seconds. For this, we have the same wait stage using a condition in it. So once I double click on wait stage, I can see in space here with element, condition and comparison. Let's suppose once I launch my page, I am able to see my username. I will drag my username over to my element and I will check my condition saying whether that URL exists or anything. But as my URL name is a, is a block, I will just select as check exists, checking whether that value is there or not. And I'll give a time wait out like let it wait for 50 seconds. So if you see clearly, there's a bubble in between the one which we created earlier. This was not there. Now, what does this mean? Once when the launch page is launched, the cursor will be waiting at the wait stage. After launching the page normally, if on the screen we are able to see the username so directly it comes from this bubble to the right username and let's suppose after waiting for 50 seconds also it did not come that means the page did not load in general what we do if a page is not loaded we try to terminate the page okay how to terminate a page call a navigate stage and call the main object in the same way instead of launch we need to select terminate and click ok terminate the page and using anchor after terminating what we generally do we try to launch that page again so in this what do, what do we learn is it does not wait until the time seconds which we have given it waits until it's visible on the screen now as is a robotic process if I am trying to automate five to six things and I want to change the usernames frequently or there are multiple applications which I have to access. So every time I cannot go and change the username and passwords manually. So for this, to pass the variables from outside in the main object, blue prism, in system, as in my first session you could have seen, we have security in which we have credentials. In this credentials, we can create our respective username and password, which is very secured. I need to click on new and in the name, I have to define the exact process name so that we will have an idea for which object did we create. So our project is mainly on Gmail. So I'll be writing as Gmail and as always blue prism blogs gmail.com and password and the password is written so if you see on your right side also you have an option where you can generally in all the companies you have an expiry date saying that after three months your password is expired you need to reset so you, if you give the expiry date you can get it in your screen then there's another tab called access rights this defines in which process you want to use your credential so that no other person can have the access right so that he can misuse with your credentials so I'll use this and resources will generally give all resources because we don't know in which machine we will run our process once we know in which machine we are going to run so we can check the precise one then while coming to roles everyone has to use this so based on the requirement so I will give any role and click on Okay, fail to save, could not encrypt the data. 
if you see it has shown saying that detail encryption schema is invalid so we need to create an encrypted format so that when you create it saves in its database securely for that if you see clearly in the encryption schemas you need to go in default you'll have an description schema so double click over it and select database and then TTS click OK now come back to your main page come back to your credentials page click on you in the same way Q Gmail As always, select the roles, resources, process. Click on OK. Now the Gmail has been created. So I'll note down the name. Now, when I want to call the object, so once I launch the page, for calling the credentials as well, we need to call an action. And we have an inbuilt function which is in internals credentials. So we have multiple options. For right now, we'll only take get we have to give your name which we have given there gmail and double quotes if you see in the output we have the expiry date as well so once the expiry date is expired we can change our password so i'll create as we have already username i'll copy the username as well click on ok so i'll change this as credentials sorry We have implemented credential manager, we have implemented throttles and terminate. So let's once start the program. Now we will remove the username so that it gets from the credential manager and we will remove the password as well. Refresh, start the program. I will run it in step by step so that we can see whether the credentials have come or not. So once I pressed you can see the username and password have come in our initialize now once I launch it has come over wait stage and I have clicked it waits in general in uh, when we ran in the previous one it used to wait for 5 seconds but right now if you see it is not waiting for 5 seconds it once it sees on the main screen it comes down and then as usual it writes his username click next password and again click next so it launches your application now when I am doing this I want to I can't call every page in this by interlinking so to call it in the main process as in our previous class we have discussed object will connect with applica application but we will connect only through process so how do we call our object in the main process so what we do is we right click on the page we rename it saying that launch and login save it so that we'll have an idea which page are we calling then publish so once I publish I'll save the application save one second We have to give a valid reason so that we'll have an idea what we're doing. Saved with launch page. Okay. So once I've created, I'll come back to studio. As we have created sample, I'll open it again. Let's suppose the second page. I'll create a new page so that we'll not be in confusion. Gmail. So this is a page. How do we call an object? Or an inbuilt function the same thing is we use an action stage in the business object we will select the object name which we created which we created was sample object 
and the action as we have created only one page we'll get launch and login click on ok so let me log out here connect from here surface you can't see what is happening inside but it performs all the actions so once it logged in if you see okay every time as we discussed every launch should be done from the main page in process but we have done it in a sub page now if you see in this way we create an object in our pages in our object and call over in our main process. That's it for today's session. Any doubts, please post below.